Welcome to another lesson from Asbab Tutoring online lesson series. In this lesson, we'll go over mathematical knowledge. Before you start, make sure that you have a notebook and pen ready so you could write some very important information from the video that will help you to prepare for the Asbab test, especially math knowledge section. You know, on the ASVAB test, you cannot use the calculator. So don't use calculator when you practice. In this video, we'll go over 12 most common mathematical knowledge related problem that you might see on the actual test. If you learn this concept, you could answer any kind of mathematical knowledge related question on the ASVAB test. And then uh, download this application called ASVAB Prep 2025. It has plenty of homework problem, practice problem. It has also prediction test that will tell you if you are ready to take the actual test or not. As web tutoring successfully helped over 10,000 people. If you need a one-on-one -on -one tutor, just request a tutor. He or she will help you to guide through all this thing in order to pass the test with a really, really high score. So let's get started. Problem number one, simplify four over five X plus 2x right so before you do any kind of mathematical knowledge related problem make sure that you copy the question on your notebook correctly otherwise you get different answers so in this problem you could see here this is a fraction related problem so let's do it 4 over um, 5x plus 2x right so the thing you have to do if you don't have a number um, is not a fraction you could put one underneath of that and then you could find the common denominator here which is 5x 5x there now how many times 5x goes into 5x is one time so multiply one top and bottom so that gives you 4 plus 1 goes into 5x is 5x times so you have to multiply with 2x times 5x so that gives you um, 4 plus 10x square over 5x. So, so that is the correct answer. So the correct answer is letter C. Problem number 2. What is 8b minus ab plus 7a subtracted from 3a minus 9ab plus b? So, you know, this is a keyword here subtracted from. So, that means you need to write that term first and then write other term afterwards. So, in order to do that, first what I did, I wrote here this term here and then put the negative sign and then put a parenthesis and put the uh, first term in here. So, in order to get rid of this parenthesis, what you have to do, you have to multiply with the negative sign inside every single terms in the parenthesis so 3a minus 9ab plus b and then negative times positive gives you negative 8b negative times negative gives you positive ab and also negative times positive gives you negative 7a and then you have to combine the like terms so you have 3a and 7a so you remember if you have a same sign in the front so if you don't have any sign that means you have a positive sign if you have a same sign in the front, you have to add. If you have different sign in the front, you have to subtract from big number to a small number and you have to keep the big sign one. So 7a minus 3a gives you 4a and the sign in front of the big number is 7a. So I keep that and then 8, 9ab and ab, right? That gives you 8ab and then plus b minus 8b that gives you 7b so that is the final answer 4a minus 8ab minus 7b so 4a plus 8b minus 7b so that is the correct answer problem number three 6x over 11 divided by 2 over 5y so in order to do this problem what you have to do you, this is a division type problem you remember how to divide fraction you have to follow that you have to follow that k c f kentucky chicken fry so how to do that that means k 
keep whatever you have in the left side change the sign division into multiplication and then you have to flip to the right side so that exactly we did we did um 6x over 11 times 5y goes in the top 2 goes in the bottom and then what you have to do you could simplify first so that gives you uh, 1 here that gives you 3 there so if you multiply that that gives you 3 times 5 is 15xy over 11 so that is the final answer 15xy over 11 next problem problem number 4 so what you have to do you have to multiply the factors so 6x plus 5y times 3x plus 2y in order to do that you have to use the file method so let's do that so what you could do you need to multiply this with that this with that and then this with that this with that right so 6 times 3 that gives you 18x square and then 6 times 2 that gives you 12xy and then 5 times 3 that gives you 15xy and then uh, 5y times 2y gives you 10y square so if you simplify that that gives you 8x square plus 27xy plus 10y square so that is the final answer simplify the expression 25x4y3g over 5xyg in order to do this problem you need to remember that division means you need to subtract the exponents so let me give you an example x6 divided by x2 if the variable top and bottom are the same so what you have to do you have to subtract the exponent that gives you x to the power 6 minus 2 equal x to the power 4 power so you have to follow this principle in here so that gives you 25 divided by 5 gives you 5 and then x4 and x gives you x to the power third power y3 and y gives you uh, y square and then z z cancel out so that gives you the final answer 5 x cube y square that is the answer option c so next problem problem number six so this looks like a um hard problem but it's very very simple and easy you square root over 81 x4 y6 so in order to do that kind of problem so we have to do step by step so you have 81 x4 y6 so what is square root over 81 that gives you 9 square root over 4 that gives you x, x square and then y to the power 6 that gives you um y to the power third power so let's little bit break it down so y6 you could write this as a uh, y to the power uh, third power to the e square so now you know this e square and then e square root cancel out so that gives you y to the power third power so that is the final answer 9 x square y cube so the answer option is option a next problem problem number seven what you have to do you have to um simplify if x equal to 3 y equal to 4 what is the value of y square minus x square parenthesis cube right so in order to do that you have to just plug the value and then do it so in order to do that just plug the value y equal to 4 x equal to 3 and then to the power third power right so 4 square that gives you 16 3 square gives you 9 so 16 minus 9 is 7 and then to the power third power gives you 3 4 7 so 7 to the power third power equal to 7 times 7 times 7 so people get uh, confused with that they multiply 7 times 3 is 21 that is not the correct option okay so the answer is 3 4 3 so the answer is 3 4 3 answer d problem number 8 express as the product of factor x square plus 4x plus 3 so this is a very important problem make sure that you fully understand how to do it so in that case what you have to do if you have x square plus 4x plus 3 right so if you don't have any number in the front you know one here so what you have to do you have to multiply first number and last number that gives you 3 
and then and then what do you have to do you have to split the middle term right so that means you have to split this three in a way if you subtract or add gives you four and if you multiply that gives you three so that gives you three and one so you need to split that 4x into 3 and 1. So that gives you x square plus 3x plus x plus 3, right? So I just rewrite it. So um, in that case, what do you have to do? You have to take the common for the first part and common from the second part. So if you take x common, that gives you x plus 3. If you take on common, that gives you x plus 3, right? Now, what you have to do, take the x plus 3 common, x plus 3, and then the parentheses, whatever you have the remaining, x and 1. So you need to put x plus 1. So watch this video like a little bit more time and make sure that you understand fully. You could um, do any kind of factoring problem using the technique, okay? So let's go to the next problem problem 9 if 5a plus 50 equal to 150 then what is a so what do you have to do this is a equation so you have to solve it right it's very simple so 5a plus 50 equal to 150 so first what do you have to do you have to subtract 50 from both sides let's see what you get so this this cancel out so that gives you 5a equal to 150 minus 50 gives you 100 and then divide both sides by 5 so 5 5 cancel out that gives you a equal to 100 divided by 5 is 20 so that is the final answer a equal to 20. next problem let's do it together problem 10 if 3x square equal to 27 then what is x equal so in order to do that what do you have to do 3x square equal to 27 so you have to divide both sides by 3 first so 3 3 cancel out that gives you x square equal to 9 and then x equal to square root over 9 that gives you plus or minus 3 right so it could be both answer either minus 3 or plus 3 but in that case the answer is given only positive so make sure that you correct um, you circle that one so sometimes they give you negative 3 so that is also a um, correct answer. Next problem, problem 11, what is the value of y in the following equation, right? So this is a system of linear equation that means you have two equation, two unknown. Let's write that down, 2y minus 3x equal to 1 and then x minus 4y equal to negative 17 right so you have to find the value of y in order to find the value of y so what do you have to do you have to eliminate x so in order to eliminate x what i could do i could multiply with um three to the second equation so that gives me three x minus three times four is 12 y and then 17 times three is 51 negative 51 and then put this equation in the bottom, you could write negative 3x minus, no, plus 2y equal to 1, right? So this 3x, 3x cancel out. So 12y minus 2y, that gives you negative 10y equal to negative 50. And then divide both sides by negative 10. Divide both sides by negative 10. This cancel out. This negative negative cancel out so that gives me y equal to 50 divided by 10 is 5 so the answer is 5 okay make sure that you understand this concept how to do it uh, practice multiple times it will help you to prepare for the test problem number 12 solve for y in the following inequality so it is a very important problem uh, for the asbab test in the math knowledge section you might see this question almost every single test you take right so let me write that down but make sure that you copy the question correctly on your notebook so let's do it so negative 3y is greater than 21 plus 6 so what you have to do first you have to simplify it so that gives you negative 3y 
greater than equal 21 plus 6 that gives you 27 now we have to divide both sides by negative 3 divide by negative 3 negative 3 negative 3 cancel out so that gives you y is less than or equal 27 divided by 3 is 9 this is negative so this is that so here is the key here if you divide it by negative number from both side the sign will change so that's why I, my greater than or equal become less than or equal so that is the final answer option y is less than or equal a negative 9 so what is the correct answer here is y is less than or equal 9 again if you want to study more and practice more download this application from app store or google play it has plenty of mathematical knowledge related problem that will help you to prepare for your asbab test and you could also request a tutor through the app or the website we could also help you to practice the um the test with a one-on-one -one tutoring okay